Okay, I'm um, showing you a little video of my uh, solar panel setup. I've just got my two panels installed today uh, with some uh, general contractors. Uh, what you see is uh, two Kyocera panels uh, that are 135 watts a piece for a total of uh, 270 watts. Uh, they'll generate together around 36 volts at, at 7.63 amps. Okay, now let's take a look at my uh, solar setup here in my little utility room. Okay, here is my little solar setup. Okay, um, up to the upper left is my charge controller. Uh, it's a uh, MPPT or maximum power point tracking charge controller at 15 amps. Uh, it'll take that 36 volts coming from the panels and it'll step it down to 12 volts and charge my batteries. Um, in the middle, you see it charging. There is a uh, uh, battery monitor, as you can see, um, charging at 130. Uh, I'm sorry, 13.4 volts. Okay. Uh, to my to the right is an AC to uh, DC AC inverter at 2,000 watts. Okay. Uh, that little uh, little box in the uh, bottom left is a shunt that's connected to uh, my battery monitor, and that allows me to read the amps. Okay, down below you see my battery bank of Optima AGM batteries connected in parallel. Uh, each one is 55 amp hours for a total of 220 amp hours. Uh, right now it's uh, about almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we're still at full sun. And we're, char we're charging at 13.4 volts at four amps because my battery is basically full so my charge controller is going into uh, well uh, 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 float mode if you will and it's just basically uh, just charging just keeping the battery charged okay uh, it's charging at four amps and as you can see I'm at a hundred percent full that flashing light uh, on the battery monitor just indicates that my batteries are fully charged. As you can see, this is a fairly simple setup. Charge controller, battery monitor, inverter, and battery bank. Um, up, up top here is how it all got started. Um, I started off with a little portable generator that I built. You can see a battery box that's mounted on top of a dolly uh, with an 800 watt uh, inverter on top of that uh, and using a 5 watt solar panel uh, to trickle charge that particular battery. From there I decided to move to bigger and better things and as you can see move to a full solar system. Uh, in the future uh, I'm going to have a transfer switch installed at my main panel and, and I'm going to run, you know, a portion of the house off the grid uh, with the uh, power that I'm receiving from the sun. Okay, thanks a lot. Hope this helps someone.